Sammy Davis, he was wonderful. Um, I did one thing in that period I regret. I was directing, and I think I was directing, I'm not sure, but I think I was. <laughs> and there was a lot of noise going on on stage, and we were trying to rehearse. And I yelled out, quiet on the set, real loud. And it upset him, I could see that. He wasn't used to that kind of, and I was, I was a little manic, and I did kind of overstep my persona. I shouldn't have done that. I always regret it because it changed his attitude to me. As it's like, not the enemy, but certainly a guy you had to watch. Milton Burrow, oh, absolutely. We were over in Hawaii doing uh, some scenes, uh, doing, I think, two or three shows, and he was in those. And I remember him changing clothes in this boat, and it must have been 120 degrees down there, and sweat was pouring off of and he, and he took his shoes off and socks, and he was going to change those. And I looked at his toes, and I said, Milton, what on earth happened to your feet? And they were all, they were all crunched together. His toes were like that. It must have been terribly painful. And he says, I was the last of six kids. I forget how many kids, his brothers and sisters. He, but I always got the, the smallest shoes. I said, really? I mean, that's what made him so mean. Because <laughs> comics have, are not funny people, I don't think. They know every punchline. He knew every punchline ever and made them up when they, when they had nobody else had. And he was, he was brilliant. But I always remember him for those crunched up toes and think how much pain he must be in all of that. Don Rickles? Don, he was great. <laughs> he came on, and he hadn't done a lot of television, I mean, uh, episodic television. And he was just great. And to get him to get the same line exactly the same twice, they forgot about that. They put a camera wide and a camera close up on him, so you have both the master and the and the close up on him, so you could get. And he was great, lots of fun to work with, and would put you down at a drop of a hat, you know, but funny. Jim Baggis, yeah, Jim was wonderful, old timey actor, you know, hit his mark, say his lines, and get a laugh. Larry Storch, I remember Larry, yeah. Well, he was kind of an oddball, you know. He was kind of out of left field, kind of, kind of different. You know, it, it, he's one of those actors like uh, that. You never know what you're going to get, but it's always a surprise, and it's always good. Larry Storch was great.